Almost three months after shocking the world by invading Ukraine, Russia's military advancement in Ukraine is losing momentum and not going as planned, according to NATO officials. The brutal invasion, by, Russia is losing momentum, NATO Deputy Secretary General Mircea Gioana told reporters I. We know that with the bravery of the Ukrainian people and army, and with our help, Ukraine can win this war. Top NATO diplomats, including U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, met Sunday in Berlin to discuss added assistance to Ukraine. Also on the agenda was expansion of the alliance to include Finland and possibly Sweden. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Koleba met with Blinken on Sunday. He noted on Twitter that more American aid and weapons are on the way. While Moscow lost ground on the diplomatic front, Russian forces also failed to make territorial gains in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine said it held off Russian offenses in the east, and Western military officials said the campaign Moscow launched there after its forces failed to seize the capital, Kyiv, has slowed to a snail's pace. USA Today on Telegram, join our Russia-Ukraine war channel to receive the latest updates straight to your inbox Ukraine's prosecutor's office said Sunday that 227 children have died and over 400 have been injured since the invasion began. The U.S. is again accusing Russia of using the UN security sea. U. As Deputy Ambassador Richard Mills called the Russian claims categorically false and ludicrous. From nearly the start of the invasion of Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin has teased the use of a nuclear weapon. But most political scientists, nuclear arms experts, Western officials and seasoned Kremlin watchers say it's highly unlikely he would detonate a nuclear weapon to break an impasse over Russia's stalled offensive in Ukraine, now in its third month. If the conflict in Ukraine essentially remains enough. Read more on Putin's strategy here. Contributing, The Associated Press.